Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Alice here, and today we're going to be looking at um, shoulder girdle, upper core engagement to really help um, the spinal articulation and the core engagement. Really, really good stuff. So. First, we're going to go with sort of a traditional way that we hold the magic circle um, when we do these types of things that doesn't quite get to the issue. So this is an okay way, but in my mind not the best for relating the upper and the lower core in the, the ab curl sequence. So let's do this first. So she's just going to squeeze the heels of the hands into the circle. Um, she's going to find her mid-back, she's going to take a deep inhale, and then on the exhale, slowly come up into the ab curl through her spine and her ribs, and then gently come back down. Good. So Alice has a, her tendency, she's a little bit of a side bend to the right, and that left shoulder wants to hike up a little bit to the left ear. So with the hands in this traditional position, can you find left armpit to left hip, lengthening through the left collarbone, and then gently come up? It's really hard for her. That's, yeah, and then come back down. Good, rest for a second. So probably, and I actually just saw her do this, so I know that this is gonna be much better. Um, we're gonna put the hands on the inside of the circle. Good, this is gonna talk more to um, abducting her shoulder blades away from her spine. It's already, yeah, really nice long collarbone, especially on this left side. And the ability for her to really engage her left mid-back. So take a deep inhale, and then keep thinking left mid-back, exhale, and curling, much better. Yes, and keep working through that arm. Yeah, it gives her a lot of power. And then slowly back down. Excellent. So I'm looking at the, some sling systems now, too, that are coming to light. And so I want the gripping to go away here and the sitting bone to stay nice and wide. And I'm going to give her a little bit of pressure into that femur. And exhale and keep doing what you're doing with that left arm. Great. And then gently back down. Nice, good, you got it here. Do one more, I know, you're getting tired. So even more push out here, yep. Good, and then slowly coming up. Nice, good with your right hip, and then slowly, slowly back down. Great, wow. rest for a second, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a lot of good feedback, right? It's really, um, it's kind of getting to the, the meat of the matter. And then from there, the, the more modification with the knees bent and the feet on the floor. But then eventually, you could use this in a very advanced way to do uh, your roll-up exercises. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.